Uh, what? They have stealth boys? Oh my god! What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Uh, last time, we finished up talking with uh, Jason Bright, I believe that's what his, his name was, Jason Bright, the uh, green, green dude. Uh, he was trying to save all the, uh, all the ghouls. So, uh, I think that's where we left off. We're gonna jump right into it. Yep, uh, there he is. There he is, Mr. Jason Bright. Okay. Get rid of the nightkin in the basement. Right, the Bright followers. This whole area was pretty weird and crazy. Um... Let's see. Come fly with me. Get rid of the night kid in the basement. Okay. Um. Dang, they got a bunch of stuff up here. I think we can't steal it, though. That's all bad stuff. Okay. Can we head downstairs? In the basement. In the basement. How the heck do we get out of here? Man. Oh no. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Uh oh. Jason? How the heck do I get out of your building? You're confusing me, man. That's a room. There we go. Here's the exit. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm going to be freaking... I'm going to be used to playing uh, Fallout 4. We've been playing... A ton. Uh, uh oh. This guy got murked. Oh. Yeah. Exit. Okay. Um. Yeah, we've been playing a ton of uh, Fallout 4. So coming back to this is just a little bit kooky. Um. A little bit goofy. And we, uh, we missed last week. Um, because I was sick, unfortunately. Um. Which I'm still a little bit stuffy, so I'm sorry if I sound a little goofy. Uh, still getting over it. Uh, feeling way, way better though. And back to enjoy the games. But man, that was pretty rough. I think I had the flu, something along those lines. Really took me out for a solid solid two or three days I was I was down for the count uh pretty beat up but like I said feeling way better still a little stuffy but we're good now let's find this basement to the, oh that's outside do we get to the basement from the outside I don't think so don't think so we're gonna have to do some exploring Come on. Get over it. Okay, can't climb that. Um. Is it over here? Where's the stairs to go down? Is it over? I think it's over in this one, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I think there were stairs down over here. Stairs up? What the heck? There's a door we didn't open? What? I guess there's nothing in here though. 
kind of weird. Some wonder glue. Hmm. Man. It says it's this way. Come on. Is it just tricking me? Where's the freaking basement? Is it through this middle door? No, that's upstairs. That's just a bathroom. I feel like I'm being conned. Is there no basement in this building? Oh, is this it? Have we found it? Oh, buddy. To the basement. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> Time to clear it out. What the heck is down here? Let's quick save because uh, <laughs> we don't want to get blasted. Something tells me this is going to be nasty. Something tells me this is going to be nasty. We got our pistol, though. And we have we have a magnum, and we got a ton of ammo for this, so... Where are we going? Okay, nothing over here. Nothing over here. Oh, man. Somebody got blasted. Okay, what's in here? Ugh. There we go. There we go. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. What the hell? Yeah, one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? I have no idea. Who are you? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. You, it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How'd you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position. And I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. <laughs> Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after them. Well, okay. turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone, and a story. All right. You don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo. Oh, man. Pleasant company. Uh, how have you survived? I'm not going to kill this guy. I'm not done. Seems dumb. Rad roach meat for protein. Why would I kill him? Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Well, oh, shit. Right to the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. If 
find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Okay. Looks like uh, I'll find your friend. Thanks. Seems stupid well, to kill this guy. Here's hoping she's okay. He's just doing his his business, you know. Seems kind of ridiculous. Why would I kill this guy? Okay, so he wants me to go further into the thing. Okay, is that this way over here? Bum bum bum. Uh, what? They have stealth boys? Oh my god! Holy crap! Are these like super mutants? Cause uh... <clears throat> they're pretty rough around the edges. What is going on? I got stuck in a corner, that was awful. Oh no. That was horrible. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Hopefully, um... We don't have to do all of this again? That sucks. Oh, no. Well, it is what it is. I guess we'll just skip through all this. Uh, that. I'll help you get out of the room. I'll try and find your friend. Quick save. Okay. Let's try this again. This guy was big and mean and, uh, I didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Let's get some damage in on this guy, quick. Holy crap! Get out of here, Davidson! God! Holy crap! Oh no, we're overcoming. We got too much stuff on us. Let's, uh... Let's equip those grenades. And then, do we have crap on us that's weighing us down? God dang. What is so freaking heavy? All right, what what was weighing us down so much? We got a bunch of this junk on us, huh? I don't even know if any of this stuff is useful to carry, so we'll just some of it probably is good to have, but for the most part, we got a ton of junk. I think we're good now. Uh, no thank you. Um... I don't like that these guys are invisible. I think that's horrible. Please reload. Holy crap. What the hell? There's another one. Did you find my friend? No, I haven't found her. I'm not I don't want to talk to you, man. Holy crap. Jeez. 
trying to frickin' talk to me when I'm getting beat on by an invisible man? You jerk. Now I'm out of frickin' health packs. We got Sunset Sarsaparilla. Let's see. Um, Nuka Cola. Here we go. Oh, I did not mean to drop that. Let's drink that Nuka Cola, though. Frick off, man. Yeah. Holy crap. I was not ready for this. I'll tell you what. I thought I had tons of ammo, but... I guess I don't. Oh my god. Dude, this guy is nuts. We put that bumper sword on and just go to town? Is that what we should do? Oh god. Oh lord. Oh lord. Dude, these guys hurt. Holy crap, we need to go get ammo. Oh my lord. Did you find my friend? I did not find your friend. Hi. Dude. Oh man, why are these guys so tough? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here and then uh, come back, cause... Man. I blew through all of my ammo almost immediately. On just like a couple of these guys. That's insane. Not ready for the super mutants. Jeez. Okay. We'll come back to this. We will come back. Where's the exit? <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see. What do we got for quests? Other than this uh, scary, terrible terrible thing. Get rid of the nightkin in the basement. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Um, let's see. Travel the canyon wreckage near Prim and enter the divide. Let's go do this. Investigate the... Where is this guy? Let's see. Down at the Mojave Drive-In? Yeah, we can do that. We got the ammo for this. Right? Yeah, we're pretty close. We just go across here. I mean, maybe. Maybe this is going to be even even more scary than the freaking super mutants. I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't think anything can be ter more terrifying than what that was. That was nuts. The 
Mojave Drive-In. You know, this movie's still playing. How do they, how do they get that working? How do they make this run? Okay. It's a trash can. Activate the crash satellite. The crash satellite seems to be the source of a strange transmission you received. Old World Blues is recommended for experienced couriers. Level 15 plus. Okay. Um, so this is part of... Um, the DLC. Okay. Well, we won't do that yet then. Because we are not that level. Good to know. Good to know. We can do that later, though. That's cool. Um, I think a lot of this is all that stuff, too. So, let's just do this. Find out from Manny Vargas where the cons were headed. Back to Novak. Right, because we did his quest. Oh, man, we forgot to do that. Forgot to come back to him. How could I be so silly? Manny Vargas. We did his little little thing and now he's gonna tell us what's going on. With the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Um just head over to the Repcon test site west. Yeah, I did that though. I swear I did that. Cause we talked to the, the guy up there. What the heck? Do we have to finish this quest? To be able to finish that one? Oh my god. Well, I guess we're gonna need... We're gonna need some more ammo then. Let's travel it up. We'll head back to, uh... Prim. Get some ammo. Stock up. Hey there, youngster. What's going on, Nash? Um. Yep. Give me that ammunition. What do I need? My weapons. Use. Ten millimeter, nine millimeter. My service rifle uses five point five six. Okay. Ammo five point five six. Let's grab all those. And then that's all he's got. I guess he's got some hollow point stuff. Another satisfied customer. Okay. And... Oh, does he have any stims? We're gonna need some more stim packs. Yikes. Um... He's got water, I guess. That's pretty good. Crispy squirrel bits. Give me them squirrel bits. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. Pleasure doing business. Hopefully, we have enough now. Uh, if we can, yeah, we have a couple different kinds of rounds now. Oh no, am I too heavy now? Oh, crap. Hmm. Yeah, 
aid. Stimpack can go on six. Am I still too heavy? Holy moly. What is weighing me down so much? Do I even have this on? I don't think I do. Should I sell that? Oh, I'm so fat. Come on, man. Get in the building. Where's my guy at? Ugh. Hey there, youngster. Come here, Nash. We gotta sell some stuff. Yeah. I think when we level up, we're gonna have to put some stuff into strength, because I am... Thick. Why do I have so much of this? Is that weighing me down so much? Okay. Nice. Let's get out of here. Thanks. Are we good now? I need to get going. Thank God. Um. Map. Okay, well... Back to the test site. We're doing this. I guess we're going for it. We're going in guns blazing. Time to kill the nightkin. Man, I didn't think this was what I was going to do today, but we're going to try. We're going to try our darndest. I don't know what <laughs> these guys were so crazy. They freaking blasted the crap out of me. It was nuts. They were running at me like a crazy man and beating me with a stick. Okay. Back to the nightkin. We got this. We got this. Um, what do I have my grenade set at? Do I have them on four? I have them on five. Kaboom! Ha <laughs> ha! Stuck on a grenade, you stupid! Yeah! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? I know he's around here. Like on a grenade. Oh my god. Give me my weapon. Oh my god, these guys are terrifying. They're terrifying. Why do they hurt so bad? 
Eat some squirrel. Our weapon back out. We're good. We're good. I see him. You die now. No, you die. Oh my god, I got my magnum at least. Oh, we got him to drop his weapon. They still hurt! Holy crap. Man's punching me for like a quarter of my health. Oh, my lord. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I have minor rad radiation poisoning. Do we have any, uh... Right away? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think I have any Radway. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. We're doing alright. Yep, we're doing okay. It's fine. Oh my god. Oh. Die! You big ugly! Die! Oh. Dang, dude. Holy crap. How many more do we have? How many more do we have to kill? Oh my god. You you die. No, you die. Holy moly. Get out of here, Davison. Holy crap. Okay, we're doing fine. It's fine. Yep, we're doing just fine. No big deal. Out of stim packs, it's fine. It's fine. What's in here? Empty Nuka Cola bottle. Electrical switch. Whoa. What was that? Where the hell are we going? Please tell me there's not more down here. Is this the exit that we wanted to get to? We needed to clear out? Hmm. Oh, is there good stuff over here? Wonder glue. Turpentine. Battery. No. Dang, dude. 
This was intense. Oh man. All right, we're good. We're good. We gotta make sure we clear them all out. Foot locker. Ooh, bottle caps. Oh, a reloading bench. Oh no. Oh, you can break. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. We can add. We can make gun ammo then. Oh, man, we need to learn that. That'd be good. To be able to make ammo. Please tell me I'm not about to run into like some crazy. Some freaking craziness. Auto stim pack injector. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to learn a lot more about this, about this game. Space suit helmet. Freaking hell yeah. Med X. The stim pack was nice. What is going on in here? What's the deal with all the rockets down here? That's none of your business, Smooth Skin. Jason was very clear. Get rid of the demons, then report back. He didn't tell you to poke around down there. Got it? Um. Stop. That's messed up. I don't like these people anymore. I don't know what they're doing. Are they going to try and nuke everyone again? Is that their plan? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I got a bad feeling. <laughs> I got a bad feeling. Climb ladder to Mojave Wasteland. Oh, we can get in and out from there? Okay. I'm guessing there's still some Nightkin that we gotta kill. Let's drink some more water so we're topped off a little bit. Oh man. Honestly, that crap was crazy. These night kid are no joke. The super mutants in frickin' Fallout 4 are not, not as scary as these ones. They move pretty slow and they are get killed not that hard. These ones are tanky and they move like freaking ninjas. It's nuts. Freaking crazy. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Give me the big slow dumb ones. Give me the big, slow, dumb ones. Okay. I don't know. I feel like we cleared out. Cleared out most of this. Is there more stuff that we need to... Do we miss a section? I hope not. Maybe we did. Oh no. I got a bad feeling. What is that? Holy God! Man had a freaking flamethrower. I'm on fire. Uh, am I 
healing? Very slowly. Any more sneaky, invisible people that I need to kill? Incinerator. Okay, a bunch of tin cans, some wonder glue. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's anything. Oh, here we go. Maybe there's maybe it's over here. Oh no. His friend is dead. That's not good. Well, at least he knows. At least he'll know. Let's get the frick out of here. Back to Harland. Man. Actually, there was another way to go. Over here, I think. Yeah. Maybe there's somebody we have to kill still. What's in here? Jail key. There's so many, like little junk things down here that we could take, but man. Okay, well, I hope we did it. You go back to Harlan and then uh, tell him what happened. Jeez. Unless there's a spot that we didn't clear out. I think we got it all. That's another one dead, yeah. Okay, I think we did it. Where the heck am I going? Uh, Harland, where are you at? Holy crap. I think he's down here. Okay. Did you find my friend? I did, unfortunately. I see. Well, spare me the details. Jeez. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Well, alright. Hopefully that means we cleared everything out. Uh... Ah! How? What the... What the... What is happening? This guy set up bombs everywhere. And it's a rigged shotgun. What the heck, man? You can look around here if you want and get killed. Are there more traps here? Jeez. Freaking jerk. <laughs> Frickin' jerk. Hey, have a look around. Why don't you just blow yourself up? Oh, man. Does that mean... 
No. I quick saved. I swear, I quick saved. Okay, let's go back and, and see if we can talk to him. Hopefully we did it already. If I have to go back and kill that jailer, I'm going to be upset because he just did what he did. Did you find my friend? Oh my god. Ah. What a jerk. That guy ruined my day. No. Oh man. That's upsetting. Okay. Well, we know where we need to go, right? We have to go down into the into the basement. Oh man, that was brutal. Down the stairs, down to the jailer. Got to find the guy, uh, the lady again. And then we'll go back. That was brutal. I can't believe. Cannot believe. He set us up like that. What a jerk. What a freaking jerk. You know, that's my fault for not quick saving more. That's how it goes. I swear we came into here. Now which way do I have to go? Wait a second, did I, did I go the wrong way? Oh no, it wasn't down here. Darn it. Now I'm just looking like a fool. Looking like more of a fool than I already was. That's all right. We'll get there. Up the stairs. I think it was over in to the left. There was that other direction that we didn't go, right? Down here. We went here. Killed this guy. Down this way. And down here. Yep. Yep, yep. We found it. Okay. Time to kill Incinerator, man. Where the heck is he? Ow, ow, ow. Stand back. Drink some frickin' cola. Where you at, bud? What the heck? He came... He came the other direction! He's a freaking cheater! They're so fast! Oh my god. Oh... It's okay, we got it. So freaking fast. Okay. Yeah, they really made him insane in this game. Okay, down here. Nope. In this door. And then... Where was she? Over here? Nope. Over here. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Back to Mr. Harland. We've freaking cleared it out. What an adventure today. 
we spent the whole freaking day just doing <laughs> just killing these freaking night can they're, they're so beefy yeah, I'm halfway blown up I got radiation did you find my friend I did I don't even want to look up there anymore, but we're going to quick save and actually do it this time. Frickin' jerk. Brad Roach. <laughs> that's right, because that's, that's what he's been eating. Oh, there's a terminal. I guess it is a good thing we came up here. Maybe this will have some info. Shivan mistake? Uh, wait, hold on. Um, first off, they let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. It's super to be part of the company, as exciting as Robco. We have some kinks in the supply chain. Yesterday, a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. No wonder they're all invisible. What these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Rob Robco think of it next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you have a lot of fun with these things. <laughs> Work misbehavior. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon sexual harassment and workplace behavior. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is crowned for termination. People were being inappropriate with the frickin' stealth boys. Of course they were. Okay, let's try and not get blown up. Oh god! That was terrifying. Give me this. Stuff. Now let's get out of here. Let's try and not get blown up. Okay, we're safe. Get out of there. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Back upstairs. My lord. Okay, how do we make it back upstairs? Do we have to go up this thing? Over here. That's not that's not the way. That's that thing. I thought there was another way to go up. Up the stairs. Oh, right, this thing. This is what it was. Mm -hmm -hmm. Going up the stairs to talk to Mr. Bright. All right. Mr. Bright, we cleared him out. Oh, you did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Goodbye. That was it? <laughs> I guess we saved him. Where's Mr. Bright? Mr. Green Man. Uh, Go bother Jason, Smooth. That guy's crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Can we steal this? Yeah, we need we need some right away. So that's why we take it. That's why we stole it. Whew. Thank God.
Where is he at? Oh, here we go. Is the way clear? The way is clear. The demons are gone. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. We did it. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. So, it crashed right when we talked to, uh... Right when we talked to Jason Brighton, <laughs> of course. So, back to talking to Jason. Back to talking to Jason. Where'd he go? Oh, actually, we gotta see, we gotta steal that right away. We're gonna take two. Might as well. Where's that? Boom. Nice. Okay. Hey. What? I didn't do anything. Is the way clear? It is. The demons are gone. Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Cool. Head to Revcom Basement and talk to Jason Bright about what comes next. Does that mean we got the the ghouls out of the area? Did that finish that quest? Right? Because they're going to go downstairs and leave? I know I'm crippled. We have doctor's bags, though. We can use it. Hmm. Should we go talk with Jason Bright downstairs, or should we head back and see if... I wonder if we finish that quest now. Maybe not. Maybe we need to go downstairs. Let's use a doctor bag quick. We're hurting pretty bad. Okay. Now, the way downstairs is over here. I believe. Am I wrong? I was wrong. No. Oh no. Is it over here? I do think it was on this side, yeah. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Alright, Mr. Bright. Let's talk. So I think we have to go down. They're going down to the sewers, right? Yeah. Quick save just to be safe. Yo, is that him? Why is he running so fast? Where's he going? He's booking it. And he's in a full suit. Who is this guy? What the heck? I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Are they trying to go off the planet? Speak to Chris. 
he can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. I'm so confused. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. These rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. What is this far beyond? only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. This guy's freaking crazy. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. This is a cult. This is this is a cult. <laughs> After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us. To ensure oh, man. the success of the great journey. This is wild. And equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. Oh my god. So you're going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Wow. Okay. Well, it's none of my business. Chris shall be declared <laughs> the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Oh, they are so crazy. Hey. Goodbye, Mr. Bright. Look at them, they're all space. <laughs> Oh no, they're all space suited up. Oh man. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Oh, this is killing me. So the Great Journey will use those rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Okay, sounds good. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Just two to three liters. Nah, not a lot. Oh my god. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Okay. Oh man. Okay, goodbye. Later. Wow. 
Just wow. That was not the twist and turn that I thought that was going to happen with this uh, Mr. Bright, but um, that is what happened. Holy crap, only. Uh, that is going to do it for this session of Fallout New Vegas. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see when I put out new videos. And I'll see you next week. Thank <music> you.